Welcome to uh, the Network Grid. We're here in Raleigh, uh, North Carolina uh, at the Washington Duke Inn for the fourth annual uh, Network Grid Conference hosted by Green Tech Media. I'm actually here with Gary High, VP of Sales for Landis and Gear, and I'm going to get some of his thoughts on uh, the industry and the market and uh, some of the trends that he sees uh, in the future for both the market and for Landis and Gear. So welcome, Gary. Thank you. Can you just tell us a little bit about um, you know, your company and what the f focus is in the market and just some of the trends you might kind of see going forward? And Sure. So uh, Landis and Gear is principally known, um, I think, in North America as an AMI and meter vendor. Um, we've had a very successful run over the last several years um, with um, some really nice wins at Encore and AEP and Hydro-Quebec most recently. Um, and then last year, our, our big news was really the, the acquisition of uh, Toshiba, or Toshiba acquiring us, um, which was, uh, I think, good recognition for the w work that we had done it within the industry. And it's, uh, it's interesting having a new corporate parent, and uh, we're very excited about the possibilities that that's bringing forward to us. Great, and I think all those things collectively, we uh, here at the conference announced the top 10 vendors in Smart Grid, of which you were one, so yeah. congratulations. Thank, thank you very much. That was a lot of fun. There as well. We appreciate that. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, it, was a, it was a wonderful list, and it's nice to be included in uh, such, a, such a list that you put together. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's an interesting time in the industry, and uh, it's, it's fun to see good recognition for things like that. Well, you deserve it, so congratulations. And we'll get, uh, I want to get a little bit back to you know, the discussion around Toshiba and Maybe some of the other uh, acquisitions that you guys have done, but what's your sense of you know where the 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 next kind of growth opportunities are in terms of deployment? I mean, obviously there's still a ways to go here in North America, but um, we're seeing you know a lot of interest in Asia and in South America and Brazil. Can you just give me a sense from? your view of the market, what you see as the opportunity? Sure, so from our standpoint, we really see growth in a number of different areas. Uh, one, as you mentioned, is international. So certainly Brazil, Asia uh, are areas that Landis Near in total is focused on and, and with Toshiba's help, we will be growing significantly in those areas. Here in North America, we see you know, the continuation of the AMI business, but it's, it's become a bit more of a steady state business than the hyper growth we had the last uh, three to four years. And where we see is really the next level these systems are going to. And um, the panel discussion we just came off of around distribution automation mm -hmm. and what does distribution automation bring, um, or how does AMI bring distribution automation capabilities to the industry? We're going to see a lot of growth in that area. Um, the networks are capable of uh, facilitating distribution automation, and we need to see some innovation within the industry to take full advantage of it. But that's certainly an area where we see. Uh, significant growth going forward. Has it been a, a hard transition for you and your team to kind of expand on the value be beyond just the meter to the whole kind of communications infrastructure? Uh, that's a great question and that um, when we first started or when I first started in this part of the industry about five years ago it was very straightforward and now um, we go into situations and frankly the utilities are way out in front of of the thinking we would expect them to have around what they can do with these systems. And they're thinking of things that are very innovative, and then they push us to be able to enable those innovations. So um, that's, and it's very different from utility to utility. One utility may be very concerned about customer side engagement and being able to put either devices in the home or be able to present back data to the consumer. Another utility may have a very clear demarcation of where metering ends and, and that and Billy really be looking to generate operational side benefits by bringing back whether it's the volt var data or other data out of the meter that allows them to manage their system more efficiently but it's it has been a very interesting transition to see the utilities begin to think about the capabilities within the systems instead of the vendors kind of having mm. to go and sell the capabilities. Right. Great. Well, Gary, thanks for being here with us today. Thanks for being at the conference and congratulations on the top 10. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thanks. Appreciate it.